Now we can start the second part. One of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing heartily and showed him the letter to God. Never in his career as a postman had he known that address. And what happened then? One of the employees, the postman of that post office, saw that letter, letter to God. Never in his career he saw a letter to God. So he felt it like a comedy. So laughingly he went to the postmaster, to his boss and showed that letter to him. And what may be the feeling of the postmaster? Let's see. The postmaster, a fat, amiable fellow, also broke out laughing. What is the meaning of the word amiable? Amiable means friendly or pleasant. The postmaster was a fat and a friendly guy and when he saw that letter he also started to laugh because it is not so common to write a letter to God. But almost immediately he turned serious and tapping the letter on his desk commented, What faith! I wish I had the faith of the man who wrote this letter, starting up a correspondence with God. But immediately the postmaster stopped laughing. He became serious. He was amazed of the faith of the man who wrote a letter to God. He also wanted to build a faith like this, an extreme unquestioning belief. He wanted to start a correspondence with God. What is the meaning of the word correspondence? That is a friendly talk or conversation. Like the poor farmer, this postmaster also wanted to make a conversation with God. So, in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea, answer the letter. The postmaster was a kind man, so he decided not to shake Lenjo's faith in God. He got an idea that was to reply to that letter, to answer that letter. But when he opened it, it was evident that to answer it, he needed something more than goodwill, ink and paper. Goodwill means a helpful attitude. But when he read the letter, he understood that it was not so easy to give a reply. He cannot give a reply with goodwill, ink or paper. For that, he wanted money too. Because that letter was asking for money. But he stuck to his resolution. He asked for money from his employees. When the postmaster opened that letter, he understood that it was not so easy to reply to that letter. To reply to that letter, he has to collect money. 100 pesos. Even though that was a huge amount, he was not ready to go back from his decision. What is the meaning of the word resolution? Resolution means strong will or decision. So, to collect that money, he asked for money from his employees, from his colleagues. He hopes with the help of those friends, he can reply to that letter. He himself gave part of his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. The postmaster gave some money from his salary and some of his friends were also ready to give money to a needy person for an act of charity. Somehow the postmaster could collect something to reply to that letter. It was impossible for him to gather together the 100 pesos, so he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half. 100 pesos was a huge amount. Though he got the help of his friends, he couldn't collect 100 pesos, the full amount. He could collect only a little more than half, maybe 70 pesos or so. As he was aware that it is impossible for him to collect 100 pesos, he decided to send the money which he could collect. He put the money in an envelope addressed to Lenjo and with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. Then he put that money in an envelope and wrote the address of Lenjo. And with that money he put a letter with a single word as a signature and whose signature? God's. He didn't write anything on that paper, just put a signature as God. So Lenjo think that it was given by God. The following Sunday, Lenjo came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. We know that Lenjo has extreme belief in God, so he expect a letter, a reply letter from God. So on the next Sunday, he went to the post office little earlier than usual. He was so curious to know whether there is a letter or not. 
It was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster, experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed, looked down from his office. When Lenjo asked for a letter from the post office, the postman handed over that letter to Lenjo. Though the postmaster was behind this letter, and what was the postmaster doing? The postmaster, the man who collected all the money and took all the effort to send this money to Lenjo, was sitting inside his room and watching everything. He wanted to see the happiness of the man. He wanted to see the happiness of Lenjo and to experience the contentment. And what is the meaning of the word contentment? Contentment means a satisfaction. Because he has done a good thing, he made somebody to smile. Lenjo showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was his confidence. But he became angry when he counted the money. Our postmaster was sitting inside his room and watching. He expected that Lenjo would be so happy and he was waiting for Lenjo's bright smile. But what happened? Lenjo didn't show any sort of happiness or surprise because he was that much confident that God will give him a reply. He was confident that God will grant his request. But what happened? When he counted the money, he became angry because there wasn't the full amount, 100 pesos. He didn't expect that. That made him angry. God could not have made a mistake nor could he have denied Lenjo what he had requested. Lenjo was sure that God will not make any mistake or he will not deny his request. So he became so angry. Let's see what happened then. Immediately Lenjo went up to the window to ask for paper and ink. So Lenjo decided to write again. For that he asked paper and ink from the post office. What was he writing? Let's see. On the public writing table, he started to write. With much wrinkling of his brow caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas. From the public writing table, Lenjo started to write again a letter to God. As he was so angry and because of his effort to write again a letter to God, his eyebrows got curled. When he finished, he went to the window to buy a stamp which he licked and then affixed to the envelope with a blow of his fist. Lenjo was so angry for not getting the full amount, so he wrote again a letter to God. After writing the letter, he collected a stamp from the post office and pasted it on the envelope, then posted to God. The moment the letter fell into the mailbox, the postmaster went to open it. What may be the feeling of the postmaster now? He was waiting to see the happiness of Lenjo, but he couldn't see any sort of happiness on his face. So he was so curious to know what he wrote again to God. So when the letter fell into the box, the postmaster went to take that letter and to read. He read the letter, it was like this. God, of the money that I asked for, only 70 pesos reached me. Send me the rest, since I need it very much. But don't send it to me through the mail, because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. Lenjo. What was the content of that letter? It was asking for the remaining 30 pesos. He was saying he got the 70 pesos, but 100 pesos he need urgently. So God sent me the remaining 30 pesos. But what he was saying? Not to send that money through mail. Don't send that money through this post office. Because that post office employees are a bunch of crooks. Bunch of crooks means a group of bad people, crooked people. The word crook is from crooked. He thought that the post office employees took the remaining amount. He thought that the post office employees stole his money. So he was requesting to God that to send the remaining 30 pesos through some other way. So that was Lenjo's faith in God. An unquestionable, extreme belief. Hope you got the idea of the story. Through this, we can understand that faith in God can give us a ray of hope in the darkest time. Let's summarize the story now. Lenjo, a poor and innocent farmer, was living with his family in a hilltop. He was a very hard-working farmer and waiting for a good harvest from his cornfield. 
but his crops destroyed due to heavy storm and the falling of hailstones he was so sad and worried and understood that they'll go hungry this year he had an extreme belief in god so he believed that god will help him to overcome the situation then he wrote a letter to god asking money to sow his field again and also to leave until the crop comes when the postmaster saw that letter he was amazed of the faith of this poor farmer and decided to help him so he collected 70 pesos from his colleagues and he himself spent some money from his salary and sent that money to lenjo next sunday lenjo came to the post office when he saw the letter and the money he became so angry because he asked for 100 pesos but it had only 70 So he again wrote a letter to God asking the remaining 30 pesos and the poor farmer thought that God sent him 100 pesos and the post office employees told the 30 so he wrote to God that not to send this money the remaining money through mail through post office because those post office employees are crooks they were thieves he had an extreme belief in God but he didn't believe in humanity He don't know anything about this poor post office employees but he believed that they took some part of his money hope you understood this lesson thank you